most important thing to me about my creative process is that I always feel like I'm getting the exact feeling I have in my head out into the world, however that is done. Whether it's just using every sound I've wanted to use or making that sound sound special to me. And when I play it back, do I keep getting that same feeling every time I get it back? Uh, my name is Lewis Bell and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, Quincy to be exact. Uh, well, the first studio was in my basement in my parents' house, and uh, you know I kind of redid my whole basement over, and, uh, and I had computers at the house. My mother loved computers, so she kind of got me into the computer tech, you know, tech side of things. Had a pretty decent setup, pretty basic, but not much different than my setup now as far as equipment goes. I mean, still just a computer, just one set of speakers, and you know, one a form of Pro Tools gear, and yeah, I mean, that, that, I did that for for years. Got another studio in Boston, was there for a few years, and then came out here in 2013. So been about seven years in LA. So my first session at, at EF was uh, with Brian Lee um, and this artist Mike Studd at the time, and there was a lot of people in the studio going in and out, and Brian's on acoustic guitar and he's just playing all these different guitars and I'm playing him a bunch of ideas and I think that was like definitely a good learning experience but that was the first time I'd ever really heard my beats on those big Genelex in the A room. Yeah if I think back to the beginning you know five years ago I would say you know like Let Me Love You was one of the first things that, that came out of here the DJ Snake Justin Bieber song um, and then the the Post Malone stuff from from Sunflower to Rockstar to Wow to Better Now, to Circles, Congratulations. I mean, they were, they were all done right here. And then, I mean, there's, you know, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of others that, I mean, along the way that special records, but just the energy of this room, I just get a really good sense of if I like something in here for some reason, just because it's always been the variable that hasn't changed since the beginning. You know, when you're traveling around, you're you know, playing it on different systems and you're around different people and there's a different energy sometimes, you might think, oh, I like this record here, but will I like it back at home base? And that's what this place always felt like is, is kind of home for making records. And then I think the more you, the more success you have in a room, then you start to get superstitious about it and feel like, hey, there's this, clearly there's this good energy in here and let's just, let's keep it here. You know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So that's definitely the approach I've always wanted to take. The mobile studio rig that you know went from being the tour rig to then post living room in Utah, um, you know it, it had the Genel X available. Um, it allowed me to kind of just reposition the studio to his living room, you know, and then adjust to the high ceilings in the wide open room, which was much different. Um, and then you know he kind of had like a little wine refrigerator that we used as a vocal booth towards the end. But um, yeah, it was definitely an interesting experience, a little bit of an adjustment, a little bit of a learning curve because I'd never worked in such a wide open room before. But at least having the Genelex there gave me some type of starting point and you know, I could kind of work around that. We did a lot of jamming. I would say there was more jamming this time around as far as almost like we're a band and I'm on, I'm on the keyboard. He's on free loops making beats. It's definitely been a different process and you know and I was out there for two months I was like just trying to find, catch my bearings and you know it was the first time we'd ever really worked um, you know outside of this studio or outside of like a professional studio so but as far as Post Malone goes there's just such a it's much deeper than music it's you know he's like he's he's like a brother I consider him a brother he's family to me so all I try to keep consistent is just looking over at him and going we still having fun you know, for me to see him still enjoy his life and still want to have, be around his friends and, you know, that's what I try to, I try to maintain that as well. You know, he may be 13 years younger than me, but, you know, I, I look up to him in that sense and I kind of follow suit and, you know, makes me want to really enjoy every day of my life to the fullest and find out how I can still play and find things in my life that are going to make me feel like a kid again. And that's what I'm always looking for at the end of the day, whether it's music or just life in general.